You guys are never going to believe the real truth behind Cody Brown's religion. The Brown family struck fame when the reality hit, TV show Sister Wives aired for all to get a glimpse of their lifestyle, and it was the first of its kind on live television, which is why so many people were so interested in their lives. And over the years, the Browns have clearly stated that their plural marriage beliefs are based on the teaching of the Apostolic Union Brethren, and now a recently released four-part Netflix docuseries, Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey, has given polygamy a lot of attention online, so it comes as no surprise why a lot of people are turning heads at the religion of the Browns, because Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey is centered around the culture, practices, and horrific crimes of the extremist Mormon Church, Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, FLDS, and under the leadership of Warren Jeff. And I mean, this documentary completely exposes Warren and his sick and twisted control of the FLDS with the shocking revelations of people that were actually victims of his crazy plans. And I know what a lot of you might be wondering now is, are the Browns part of the FLDS? And honestly, it's kind of complicated. So here is the deal. They have spoken on many occasions that they aren't members of the FLDS religious sector, you know, but they do share some beliefs that are similar to what the FLDS preaches. So Cody and his four wives, well, you know, technically three now since Christine announced her split from Cody in November, are considered one of the most popular polygamous families of all time and this is probably because people don't really practice polygamy and those that do definitely leave a lasting impression when they are seen and now the thing is the AUB kind of operates under the same Mormon fundamentalist beliefs as the FLDS as I said before both religious sectors have so many similarities between them that it's kind of hard to tell the difference between them and after Netflix released this documentary a lot of people myself included have been trying to fill in the holes the Browns have you know with their religion and you guys are are never going to believe all that I have found out. So a good place to start is how Sister Wives and the FLDS have a lot of familiar names between them. Some people may say this is a merely just a coincidence, but what if it's not? I mean, when Sister Wives first came into picture, they hoped to show the entire world that polygamy isn't as bad as what a lot of people thought it was, and they even went as far to say that they, you know, may be Mormon fundamentalists, but they've always stayed away from the abusive parts of its religious sectors. And I wish I could say the same for FLDS and their leader Warren, but right now Warren is currently serving a life sentence for all of his horrible crimes. And during this documentary based on the FLDS, names like Darger and Jessup and Elred were mentioned. And if you've never heard of these names before, well, you are in for a shock. And although Christine Brown may have left the Brown Nest, she still has extremely deep ties to the AUB and FLDS. Because it turns out that Christine's grandfather, Rulin Elred, was supposed to be the successor of a former profit for the FLDS, and however, people refused to acknowledge him as their next profit, and this caused the group to break up, after which Rulin created the AUB, and now here's where it gets interesting, because Christine's involvement with the FLDS, believe it or not, does not end with her grandfather. Her great uncle, Ervil LeBaron, was actually the leader of a separate polygamous sector, and he ordered a hit for her grandfather, Rulin, and is currently also serving a life sentence in prison for this, and this is just the beginning of this crazy tale. But meanwhile, Joe Darger and his polygamous family, you know, were also mentioned in the Netflix documentary about the FLDS, but they consider themselves members of an independent sector. And in case you've been wondering where you've heard the name before, Joe and his family have made appearances on Sister Wives in the past. And now the last time that, you know, seems to kind of link the Browns with the FLDS is Jessup, which I'm sure some of you can recall because it has popped up on Sister Wives very often. It turns out that way before before Cody married his last and arguably his favorite wife, Robin, she was actually married to David Jessup. And now David, on the other hand, is related to Meryl Jessup, who was rumored to have taken control of the FLDS after Jeff's arrest. So, I mean, can you believe this? Honestly, this is kind of a coincidence. Seems too good to be true. I mean, just think about it for a second. What are the chances that the Browns being connected to this many people who had a part to play in the messed up traditions of the FLDS? And a couple of years back when Cody was asked about what he thought of Warren's arrest, he made it very clear that Warren isn't the poster child for polygamous. And I mean, you know, talk about being direct, but for as long as we've known them, the Browns have always been fundamentalist Mormons, but recently they seem to be kind of changing that. And in 2021, after Christine announced her divorce from Cody,
Cody and ended their 20 years of marriage. She revealed that she actually hasn't been, you know, to church in more than a decade. And she also said that she didn't even need their approval to dissolve her spiritual marriage. And I think it's safe to assume that if she hasn't been to church in such a long period of time, other members of the Brown family probably haven't either. And this might probably be because of the fact that they were actually kicked out of their church. And I honestly, I couldn't believe it either. And you never could have guessed why. But apparently, their church didn't like the fact that the Browns were doing a reality TV show because it was too public. But the real reason the Browns were actually given the boot was that because of Mary's infamous catfish scandal. And apparently, it was the last straw for them. And after her divorce, it seems like Christine isn't the only sister wife that's looking for Forward to the next chapter of her life. You know, Mary revealed that she's looking forward to coming changes while on a recent hiking trip. And while sharing a beautiful picture of the Grand Canyon on her Instagram page, she went ahead to encourage her followers to embrace adventures. And it seems like Mary is trying to enjoy all that nature has to offer by herself. And earlier this year, she also went on a solo road trip without her husband, Cody. And I guess her newfound passion for the outdoors is probably because of all she's been through recently. In last year, in an exclusive interview, Cody even mentioned that Mary has been in a very dark place and he went ahead to say that in a plural marriage he doesn't feel like she has the right to tell any of them what to do and if it just isn't working for them they all have the right to leave if they want but although the Browns seem to be trying their best to separate themselves from the FLDS it's hard to ignore the fact that they actually have a lot of things in common but what do you guys think about this don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section below and guys like always if you enjoy this video please do me a huge favor hit that like follow, share, subscribe button, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.